DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body flexibility routine. For this routine, we're going to do 20 exercises performed all in a row for just one set each. Our working time is 60 seconds, our break time is 10 seconds. We'll have no extended breaks during this routine. If you like this routine, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our routine. If you have a fitness tracking watch and you want to start your workout now, be sure to do so. Our first exercise we're going into for our warm up is going to be chunk So we're going to get our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, and then we're going to rotate at the trunk or the core at first. Here we go. All right, so nice, easy turns, feeling everything, loosen up. As time goes on, what we'll do is we'll start pivoting at the hips and feet right here like this. There we go. Feeling everything stretch out. Don't forget to breathe. After this, we're going to be going into an alternating hip flexor stretch. All right, made a mat for this one. So what we're going to do is drop down. Get that hip flexor. If you want to drop that knee all the way down, you can come up, rotate around, same thing. If you want to keep your knees off the ground, you can totally do that. And just come here, come up, switch sides. There we go. Next, we're going to go into trunk circles. There we go. So again, feet nice and wide. And now we're going to move the entire upper body in a circular movement. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Feel that lower back stretch out around to the sides and then the core as we lean back, back to the side and back around to the back. Nice and easy. If you want to reverse it, you can. Next we're going to be going in to alternating lateral lunges. There we go. So again, feet nice and wide, dropping down, coming up, switching sides. There we go. If you want to kind of hang out there, feel everything stretch out, you can. There we go. Nice and easy. Go at your own pace. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that back nice and straight. Chest out, head up. We're going into RDLs next. So we're going to keep our back nice and straight. We go so back nice and straight, slight bend in the knees, bending at the hips, feeling it stretch out in the hamstrings, and then coming back up. There we go. Nice controlled movements. After this, we're going into arm circles. Get one more. Go arm circles, nice little small circles to start, moving into bigger circles, and then at the halfway point, if you want, you can reverse it. Don't forget to breathe. After this, we got a 20 second break. We're going into our flexibility routine. Reverse it if you want. seconds so we go into our flexibility routine our first one we're going into is a piriformis stretch also you may need a bench for the quad stretches if you want to so we're going to sit down here one leg out right leg out cross the left leg over and then from here what I like to do is kind of wrap my arm around and pull just like that if you want you'll see a lot of people kind of go around here and put their elbow right there but I actually find using and kind of using my bicep to pull it Instead, feels a lot better. So just like that. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. If you want, you can take the other arm and kind of use it to pull as well. There we go. So let me turn sideways for you, so you can see this side. Again, I kind of wrap it around there. If you want, take the other arm. And Kind of use it to pull as well, to pull deeper into that stretch. Remember we're active stretching, we're not just sitting here doing nothing. 
thinking about our day, we're actively trying to stretch a little further and a little further. So nice couple deep breaths and try to stretch a little further. There we go. Just switching sides. Left side out, right leg goes over, take that left arm, wrap it around, and then you can kind of pull. There we go. Take a few deep breaths. Kind of feel it start to relax over here. And then once you kind of feel it relax, you can kind of pull it a little tighter. There we go, good controlled breathing. There we go. If you need to take a break, that's fine. Just kind of let that leg out. Give it a little shake if you want, and then come back into it. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Try to relax while you're doing this. The rest of your body, try to relax it. Got 10 seconds. There we go. All right, next we're going into a seated shoulder extension. So if you want, you can put your fingers facing back away from you. And then from here, what we're gonna do is slowly scoot our butt out while maintaining straight arms and a straight back. If you want, I kind of like to rock my legs back and forth to stretch that. Make sure to keep that chest out. We don't want to do this and then just try to scoot our butt. That's not actually stretching our shoulders anymore. Here we go. If you want, you could also have your fingers point, pointing down towards your feet if you choose. And then do the same thing. As you can see, I am much less flexible here. Actually, I'm just not flexible at all. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Feeling everything stretch out. Keeping the back nice and straight. butterfly stretch now so on our butt again bring our feet together and then what we're going to try to do here is pull our feet in so what I like to do is actually kind of use the wall here and sit up against the wall to help me stay nice and straight because my hips aren't flexible and then whoo, now we get that stretch if you can keep your feet in without holding them what you could do is kind of use your hands to push the knees down There we go. You can also kind of hold the feet together at my toes, if you see, and then from here you can push one leg down, and every like 10 or 15 seconds what you can do is just switch sides, try to maximize that stretch over here. Here we go. Try to sit up nice and tall, feeling it stretch out in the groin. All right, we're gonna go into a knee over toe lunge on the left side. So left leg up, right here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to push forward and get our knee out over our toe. And so we're not really worried about this leg staying back or stretching our hip flexor bunch. What we're worried about is trying to get the majority of our weight on this front leg, kind of get that heel up off the ground, stretching out the calf. You're gonna feel it in the hammer or in the hip flexor here too. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. If you want to kind of lean forward, you can. If you need to put your hands down, you can do that too. You have about 15 seconds. Try to hold it if you can. Don't forget to breathe. All right, come out of this. We're just switching sides here. So knee over toe lunge, right side. There you go. Slowly push. 
push and slide forward. Get all that weight onto that right foot, the right leg. Get that knee way out over the toe here. There we go. I'm just going to try to hang out right here. Again, trying to put the majority of our weight onto this leg that is forward. If you need to come out of it and take a break, that's totally fine. Take a few seconds, a few deep breaths, and try to drop back into it. There we go. Try to let it relax. Alright, we're going to stand up, we're going to do a hamstring stretch on the left side. So we're going to get this nice little split stance right here. And then keep that front leg nice and straight. If you want to have a slight bend in the knee, you can. And then we're going to lean forward at the hips. So we don't want to be looking like this while we're doing that. Not right now. Later, we're going to stretch out the lower back. You can keep the knee straight or an ever so slight bend in it if you want. Either one's totally fine. Also, if you want, you can kind of lift the heel or the toe up. You can even grab it if you want. Try to get a little bit of a calf stretch going on there too. Remember to keep the back nice and straight. Don't forget to breathe. Feeling it stretch out. Holding it there, letting it relax, and then slowly stretching a little further. That's the goal here. Switching sides, hamstring stretch right side, no nice little split stance, and we're going to drop down into it. There we go. Remember, you can keep your toe down or lift it. Either one's totally fine. This may be a little too difficult for you. Also, you could use a bench or a chair and kind of do it like this. That's totally fine as well. Don't forget to breathe. Good controlled breaths here. Try to keep that back straight as you can. Feeling that hamstring stretch out. Breathe. All right, next we're going into a hip flexor stretch on the left side. So we're going to get that split stance going on again. Right here. Squeeze that right glute and then push down. There we go. So we're stretching it out right here. Make sure you're not leaning forward when we're doing this. We want to stay nice and straight, chest out, head up. If you want, you can kind of put those arms up, really feel a stretch. Another option is to kind of lean away from the leg that is down, feel it stretch out just a little further too. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Try to push a little deeper in, feel that hip stretch out. Give it a few breaths, 10-15 seconds. Try to push a little bit deeper into the stretch. Alright, switching sides. There we go. Remember, tighten that glute up before you push forward. Squeeze that glute and then try to move into it. And you're going to feel a lot more stretch in the hip flexor. Good controlled breathing. Good 
Remember, you can put those arms up if you want. You can lean away just a little bit if you want. There we go, we're trying to sink the hips down to that front heel. Try to drop down a little further. Go. All right, next we're going into a quad stretch on the left side. If you don't have a bench, what you could do is just kind of pull your foot like that. You could also use a wall or you can use a bench or a chair or a couch or an ottoman and the list goes on there. So I like to go right here and then what we're trying to do is get our butt back to our heel. Make sure that our body is staying nice and straight. We don't want to lean forward like this. That's going to reduce our stretching. Here we go. Feel a stretch. Don't forget to breathe. sides. There we go. Alright. Stand nice and tall. Remember we're not leaning forward on this. Trying to push ourselves back onto the heel. Feeling that quad stretch out. There we go. Nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe. Next we're going into a frog pose. We're going to come up out of that one. We're going to drop down onto all fours. I'm just going to turn sideways for you. From here, what we're going to do is try to get our knees nice and wide here. And then once we're here, we're going to sit back into it right there. Give that a little hold. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly drop forward. And then you can just hang out in one or the other. You can alternate both. It's totally fine. Don't forget to breathe. Try to sink those hips forward. Nice and easy. All right, next we're going into a seated saddle. So we're pretty much going to stay in this spot, bring our knees a little bit closer, and then we're just going to try to sit right here on our heels. If this is too difficult for you, what you can do is just kind of be on all fours, slowly drop back, and then as you need to, you can kind of rock back forward, take the pressure off, give it a couple seconds, and then come back into it as needed. There we go. So what I always try to focus on here is just trying to have my body aligned because I have uh, have had a couple knee surgeries on my left one, so it's much tighter. What happens is is my hips kind of want to kick out to the side. So take note of any differences that you have while you're sitting here. Do your hips kind of push one way or the other? Do you feel 
more tension in one leg or the other and then afterwards you may just kind of want to stretch on that leg that maybe has a little bit more tension a little more or stretch the hip a little more or whatever it might be just taking note of those differences there we go all right next we're going to drop down on our stomach we're going to go into a cobra pose so what we're going to do here right here and then push up Feeling the core stretch out here. If this is too difficult, what you can do is just do this on your elbows as well. Just like that, trying to sink our hips down. There we go. So I like to try to kind of come up and then kind of lock my arms out. And that allows me to kind of force my uh, lower back or core to be able to push forward. There we go, head up. Don't forget to breathe. Got about 10 seconds left. All right, we're gonna come up on the all fours here for a forearm stretch what we're going to do here is have our shoulders or pretty much our arms perfectly vertical and then we're going to slowly lean forward stretching out the forearms here so start with the wrist directly below the shoulders and then lean forward put a little pressure on them if you need to you can kind of come back take a little break and then push back into it there we go Feeling those forearms stretch out. If you want, what you can also do now is kind of turn your fingers facing back towards you as best you can. And then what we can do is kind of pull back towards ourselves. Take a little bit of tension off your shoulders if you feel it there. I'm actually almost not even flexible enough to do this, to be honest. My forearms are on fire right now from stretching. Don't forget to breathe. Woo. There we go. All right, next we got a chest stretch. If you want, you can do a chest stretch on the ground or using a wall. So what we're gonna do here is have our arm out. Make sure the shoulder is against the ground or the wall, and then we're gonna try to lean away from it here. Feeling it in the chest. You can also kind of move your arm up or down. You can even put a slight bend in the elbow to see where you feel is stretching the best and then you can kind of hold it right there don't forget to breathe all right switch sides here we go it's important to make sure that the shoulder is staying against the ground or the wall as well here we go Alright, next we're going into a back stretch. So we can do this standing. What we can do is just pull our arm across and then use the other arm, kind of hook it from underneath, and then pull across and feel that back stretch out. Kind of feel the rear delt stretch out too. Don't forget to breathe. Nice and easy here. Here we go. Good controlled breath. We go to the sides. Try to relax while you're doing this. Try to let the back relax. Let the shoulder relax. Ease into it. and easy. Our right, next, 
We want to do a neck and trap stretch. What I want you to do is put your left arm behind your back just like that. And then what we're going to do is tilt our head to the right. If you want, you can take your right hand and just lightly place it on the head for a little bit of added tension. We're not trying to pull here super hard. You don't need a ton. If you pull too hard, it's actually just going to make your neck sore. We don't want that. Just nice light stretch and kind of move your head back and forth. See where you need to stretch it the most. Nice and easy. Ease into this. Here we go. We're going to switch sides. So right hand behind the back. Lightly pulling the head down, if at all. Feeling the neck and trap stretch out. Don't forget to breathe. All right, next we're going to do a lower back stretch. So we're going to have a slight bend in the knees here. If you want, you can keep them straight. And then we are going to bend at the lower back here. Trying to bend over as far as you can. Here we go. If you want, you could actually kind of grab your ankles or your legs and help pull yourself forward. What I like to do is kind of turn it into a Jefferson curl, kind of roll myself up, vertebrae by, by vertebrae, come up, and then go back into my stretch, pull myself down into it, hold it for a few seconds, and then come back up out of it. Here we go, and do it one more time. Ourselves up out of it nice and easy. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, it's not on the list, but last thing we're gonna do here is a deep squat sit. During the workout, I decided I want to do a deep squat sit at the end. So we're gonna knock one out real quick. So we're gonna drop down into a squat nice and easy. Feet about shoulder width apart. It's totally okay if you want to bend your back. What I like to do is actually take my hands and put them under my toes. This way I can push my knees out. So push our knees out. Wow, we're trying to also pull our butt down to our heels. It's okay if you want to kind of lean forward like this. It's totally fine. Let's just try to hold it here. Try to hold it for another 30 seconds. There you go. Probably even feel your lower back stretching out even more here. If you want, you can kind of try to lean forward just a little bit. Get more stretch on the calves. Here we go. Alright, come out nice and easy. Here we go. Flexibility routine complete. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. If you did, be sure hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.